making shakshuka, but I'm calling it desi shakshuka because it's got a bit of an Indian twist. Um, I've got garlic in there, onions, cumin seeds, coriander, um, so I have peppers, it's going to have roast potatoes, um, tomatoes, um, and a bit of cumin powder as well. Right, let's get cooking. So for our desi shakshuka, what we've got is four tomatoes chopped, one red pepper sliced, fine, one red onion sliced fine, um, four cloves of garlic sliced fine, two green chilies finely sliced, one teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, some tomato puree, and I've also got four eggs, a handful of coriander chopped fine, two handfuls of spinach, and four potatoes, so four small potatoes um, chopped into bite-sized pieces. So the first thing you're going to do is line a baking tray with parchment paper and pop your chopped tomatoes onto that. And we're just going to roast those with some vegetable oil, a bit of salt and pepper, um, while we're cooking the shakshuka. Right, into the oven at 200 for about 20 minutes. So in go two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Right, the oil's nice and hot. So one teaspoon of coriander seeds, seeds, chilies. I just turn the heat down to medium. Um, garlic. We're going to wait for that garlic to fry and turn brown. Right, the garlic's lovely and golden brown, so I'm going in with my onion. When your onions start to soften, that is heat from medium low, and then I'm just going to cover that off and let it cook for a while. Right, so when the peppers have had five minutes, Open up and go in with your chopped tomatoes. Mix some cumin powder, tomato puree, just about uh, two tablespoons, and a splash of water. Mix, cover, and let it sim for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Just check in at 10 minutes. Right, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to go in there. Mmm, smells lovely. Smash your tomatoes. Smash and mix. Add your spinach. And mix through. And then just cover and cook for another 5 minutes. That's 30 minutes on the potatoes. Just going to pull them out. Mmm. Okay, 5 minutes up. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just mix that through and then make four pockets in your, um, in your pan. And we're going to crack an egg in each pocket. Sprinkle off coriander leaves. A little bit of salt and then just cover and let the eggs cook for another five minutes on low. Right, open it up, moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Go in there with your yummy, yummy roasted potatoes and you are ready to dig in with um, pitas or sourdough bread or parathas, anything honestly. If you like my recipes, uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media. So I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Travelling Tiki. And if you are cooking one of my recipes, I'd love to see them. Again, tag me at Travelling Tiki.